Well, with the eclipse nearing, round trip flights to Little Rock a week from now are over $1,000. Some hotels are more than double their usual rate, but is that price gouging? We've had tons of questions as we near the event, and tonight, TH311's Sarah Herbakowitz went out to hear those questions and get you some answers. The countdown is on. The eclipse is just days away. And with cities in the central Arkansas area expected to double or even triple in population, people have a lot of questions. I'm really wondering how long it's going to last. Well, that depends on where you are. It'll start at around 1.45 p.m. and last about four minutes, depending on how close you are to that center line. In the path of totality, for those few minutes, it will look like twilight in the middle of the day. Where are we supposed to get the... the the protective wear for any last minute eclipse shoppers out there. You have lots of options. You can find some glasses for purchase at many outdoor stores or for free at some local libraries or city tourism offices. But each city has a different plan in North Little Rock. I think between our AMP or our visitors bureau and what the city's ball, I think we had 120,000 glasses. So if you need some, we got them. And what should you do for those who might not keep their glasses on? Is the eclipse safe for kids to watch? Here's UAMS ophthalmologist Dr. Paul Phillips. I mean, if the child's going to rip off the glasses because the child's not listening, you know, that's where it can get dangerous. But, you know, not a split second. In general, put the glasses on, the, on your children. If they're wearing them, you're all good. And how are cities like North Little Rock working to keep everyone safe? And that could be increased patrols. We want to make sure all of our streets are clear because there will be some emergencies. So security is good, all, all hands on deck. And with hundreds of thousands of tourists expected to visit Arkansas. I was told to get a lot of gas and stuff. I'm personally out of touch and I live under a rock, so I didn't know that was happening. So should I be concerned? Can businesses charge more for things like gas, parking and food during the eclipse weekend? As long as it's a real business, the attorney general says legally they can, telling us in part that, quote, our state's anti price gouging laws only apply when the governor declares a state of emergency, which is not the case right now for the eclipse. But if you just want to stay inside, you can also watch the eclipse right here on THV. I'm going to stay inside most likely. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to watch it on TV. <laughs> yeah. Reporting, I'm Sarah Horbakowitz. Sarah, thank you. In his honor, the mayor Hartwick also says they've gotten a lot of requests to turn the city lights off during that totality, but they're going to be staying on for safety reasons. You can also hear more from Dr. Phillips about Eclipse Safety tomorrow at 9 a.m. right here on The Vine. And as you've heard us say for weeks, we have more info online and we've made it easy for you to get all of that. All you have to do is text the word Eclipse to the number on your screen, 501-376-1111. And we will send you all of our full Eclipse guide. It'll be right there on your phone. Say it with me, Eclipse, 501-376-1111. <laughs>